Okay, here is the combo breaker and here's the number pad. Uh, the combo breaker here, you can see the dial. Um, and then here is the power supply. And this is a micro USB cable. This isn't necessary, but it will help uh, to be able to see stuff on the screen. Um, so I'm going to plug those things in right now. This is the micro USB cable. It goes here. So that little spot right there. It's right next to the reset button. And then this is the uh, power supply. And then here we have a 16 button keypad with A, B, C, D along the side and then numbers and stuff. So once that's in, there's a menu of four different options. This USB cable is necessary to make the options show up on the screen there. Um, and then also it's necessary for you to have installed uh, Arduino on your computer. Um, once you have that, you can open up the serial monitor and then you'll be able to see stuff. Um, but if you don't have the USB cable and you don't have it hooked up to the computer, the computer on here still knows what state it's in. So there's four different states, uh, four different um, main top level options to choose from. A is for the fast demo unlock. So this specific lock, it knows what the combination is. So it'll dial that really fast and then lift the shackle. That's what A does. B will go through and uh, slowly turn the dial and then try, uh, and it'll do that. Um, it'll try every possible combo. And the reason for this mode is so that you can see it actually spin the dial and try things. It will also print out over here things about like the combination that it's currently trying. C is the same thing, but it'll do it as fast as it possibly can. It takes about half a second for each one. I don't know how long it takes in the slow mode. Um, and then D is, it's possible as it's doing this stuff that this arm can get loose. And so if that happens, D sets everything to a specific known location. And then you'll use an Allen wrench, two millimeter Allen wrench to undo this and this, and then set it on there, and then tighten them down as tight as they go, and then it'll be in a known position, and then it'll continue to work again. Um, and then there's the reset button. The reset button is, uh, no matter where it is, it'll bring you back to being able to choose between one of those four options that I just mentioned. Um, so I'm going to show uh, A, the fast demo unlock, um, a, B, and C, uh, after you choose any of those, it'll ask you what position it's at. So I'm going to choose A, and it'll say what spot is the dial at. Um, and I can see it's uh, the spot is indicated right here. There's a, on the dial, you can see a little red triangle on this combo lock. It's uh, 25, 26, and a little bit. So I'm going to say 26 and a half. So I'm going to put in two six five zero so it just dialed the combo for this lock because it knows it already and now it's waiting for me to push the shackle back down again and as soon as i push the shackle back down it re-enters the combo and then lifts the shackle back up and every that'll happen every time uh every time you push it back down again and i seem to be unable to push it back down right now. Of course. Oh, there we go. So it'll try to dial as quickly as it can. Sometimes it gets stuck as it's spinning, um, but it'll kind of reset itself. It'll jiggle up and down if it gets stuck. So it's entering the combo as quickly as it can. Oh, and this thing fell off. So, I'm going to have to reshoot that. That's a bummer. Um, this is exactly the thing that I was talking about with having to reset it. <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to set it to option D. Now this is at a very fixed point. So I'm going to loosen these up. I was not intending to do this right now, <laughs> but it happened. So I guess I have to do it. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. All right, so I loosen those up and I open up the jaws as much as I can. And then maybe stick this in there to open it up a little bit further. Okay, so now that that's like that, I can put it back on here and hold it in while I tighten down. And I'm actually going to tighten the one closer to the camera first as much as it will go. That's funny. That was totally unscripted. <laughs> uh, Alright, so that's the back one, tight as it'll go. And then the front one, tight as it will go. Hopefully, that works. Let's try a resetting, and then I'll go for A, and it's at 24. So I'm going to enter 2400, zero, zero, and it works. Cool. Um, so now I'm going to hit uh, reset, <laughs> and I'm going to go to uh, B. That's for slowly solving an unknown combo. So this is, if you have a new lock, um, this would slowly go through every possible combo. So the uh, position that it's at is again 24, 2, 4, 0, 0. So now it's going to 0, and then it'll ask me to lock the shackle before continuing. And now it'll start moving and it's gonna, at the very beginning, when you start trying different combos, you have to spin it uh, a bunch to make sure that the back, the, the discs inside are all at a known position. So it's gonna try every possible known combo. It just did 39, 5, 39. Uh, actually, I think it's, it's at five, and now it's at 39, okay. So then it tried the shackle, and then it moved a little bit more, and then it tried the next shackle. That's like dialing 39535. So it just did 39539, then it did 39535, and it just keeps going through. Um, exactly how this works, uh, I could explain more uh, in if you want in a different video maybe. Um, okay, and then, so that's option, option B, and then option C is the same thing as that, but it's doing it as quickly as it can. So, I hit uh, reset to get to the top level menu, and then it's at position 15, so I'll put 1, 5, 0, 0, and now it's doing the same thing. It just did 39, 5, 39, and then it went a little bit, and then... Uh, and then I try the shackle again, and all of that happens in about half a second. So those are A, B, C, D. Um, that's all of the things that you need to know for operating this. Cool. There's actually a couple more things to know. So after it solves... <laughs> it must be in uh, A right now. I'll hit the reset button. Okay, so after it solves, um, it will, uh, the shackle will be lifted and it'll just be sitting there. Actually, I could, I should show that. Um, so I'll do A, 24. So um, if you do option B or C, it will go through until it finds the combination and it knows that it found the combination because it lifted this shackle. And once it's done that, it'll stay there and wait for you to come back. 
if you have it connected to the computer, it will display on the computer what the combination was. But if you don't have it connected to the computer, um, then when you see it like that, you can press the shackle down um, if it if it solved an unknown combo. If it was if you did option B or option C, um, it will wait for you to press the shackle down, and then when you press the shackle down, it will slowly dial the combo so that you can see what the combo is, because you'll be able to see what position it's at. So it, it not only slowly rotates, but it also stops at each one. So you should be ready to write down the numbers as it goes through and slowly so solves the combo. Um, and it'll keep doing that over and over again. So you press the shackle down, it will slowly dial, slowly come back, slowly go the other direction, and then it'll lift the shackle, and then it'll wait there again. And if you think that you missed it, you can press it down again, and then you can look at what you wrote down and see what it does. Um, this is if you don't have it connected to the computer, because the computer will just display the combination. I think it says... Um, I don't know. It says something about uh, that this is the right combo. I forget. It was a while ago that I programmed it. So, um, let's see. I think that is it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So the different combinations are next to each other. Re-enter slowly. Uh, oh, so it might go through all of that, and then um, you might come back to it and see that it has lifted the shackle all the way. The lock is unlocked, but it's still dialing and trying to lift furiously. Um, if that has happened, that's uh, like this arm right here fell off, like you saw earlier. Um, and so then you would hit reset. Uh, and then hit D and pull this off, uh, unscrew it with a two millimeter wrench, um, loosen this thing up, uh, and then put it back on again, go to option D, put it back on, tighten everything down. Um, yeah. All right.